Hello, all you dentists out there. So I, I train a dentist and she, she told me the other day that she was doing a two and a half hour surgery. And I thought, she, she was just describing her stiffness and I thought, man, that is crazy. We cannot just throw this person into full blown athletics, right? We can't expect this person who's been doing this surgery hunched over and crunched down inside someone's mouth, you can't expect that person to move like somebody who just got done with a one hour walk, right? Because the person who's been walking has been moving around, but the person who's been doing the surgery and then drove in the car, not on a computer, in a car <laughs> out to uh, your training session, I can't expect that person to move the same way. Right? They've been locked down. So what you have to do is you have to unlock everything. So first thing we're going to do is find out which way that you've been crunching down and do the other way. So if you're kind of, if you sit on the patient's right and you kind of turn over and you lean your head this way and then you're kind of turned over into the mouth, then uh, I, well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way to secure my hips that way, but turn my upper body the other way. And that kind of untwists my body, right? It keeps the bottom part secure, and then it turns my upper body away. And that kind of, it, it's like a, a chamois cloth. It just wrings you out. Um, other just general principle, rather than trying to find the perfect exercise that will instantly alleviate all of your tensions, I, I think it makes a lot more sense for you to just find a warm-up that you like, do about 10 minutes of slow, gradual movement with a little bit of stretching, dynamic stretching, where you're, you know, maybe you're doing a lunge and coming up and you, you know, jump into the other side. Maybe you do a little bit of a hamstring touch or toe touch, hamstring stretch. Um, all sorts of dynamic movement, stuff where you keep changing your position is good to get your body, uh, <laughs> your cells flowing again, right? Your body moving again. And then after that, I would take a pretty extensive cardiovascular warm up as well. So we're gonna start moving around, we're gonna jump, we're gonna skip, we're gonna um, climb up stairs, we're gonna walk uphill, we're gonna run any sort of movement that you like, that your body prefers <laughs> you do, anything that um, kind of jives well with the, the body that you've been given, go ahead and do those things, but make sure that you don't skip them, right? Make sure that you do them because that's the only way that you're going to be able to adapt your body that has been evolving for so long into this modern era that we're in where we have to sit down at work for eight hours a day, right? And sometimes we have to be pretty immobile throughout the day, okay? So make a plan, stick with it, ease yourself into some mobility, ease yourself through your warm-up, but make sure that you get it done.